We've been struggling for about a month and a half, looking for a home in between Airbnbs, being uncomfortable. Right now, song. Song, song. Let me know. Last night in our house, you guys, is so bittersweet. So bittersweet. All of the furniture is moved out. Our bed is in storage. So we have a blow up mattress for tonight. In the living room, we're gonna have good movies going on. The girls are about to come over. We have the babies sleeping in their little corner. It's Pia's birthday today. Happy birthday, my princess girl. She's six, you guys. But yeah, this is so fun. This is like the last bit of stuff that we have to get out in the morning. But other than that, you guys, we're empty. It's our last night in the house. This is so bittersweet, you guys. I'm just that type of person, like, I care. I care that we will never sleep here again after tonight. That's so sad. It's been so fun. We had so many memories here. You guys saw a lot of them on these vlogs for the past year. <sighs> sad, sad, sad day. But the girls are on the way over. We're gonna have some drinks. We're just gonna do our last little night here in the house. What's up you guys as you can see we just got our nails done we just got a little peachy nude type of color i really love it i think it's super cute got it on my toes too we're back it's been hectic as you guys know if you watched the last vlog we've been moving and it has just been crazy i showed you guys the last little clip of our last night in the town home um, and it's over with y'all. It is really over with and it's so sad. It really really is We've just spent the last like five six days moving into a one bedroom one bathroom high-rise apartment It's down the street from the townhome. So it's really we're not like in a different area or anything, but you guys We've been living in a three-story four-bedroom townhome for three years now and now we're crammed into a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment. Absolutely nuts. So as you can imagine, it's very, very crammed. Um, pretty much we ended up putting like 98% of our things in a storage unit. Luckily the apartment that we moved into is an Airbnb. So it's fully furnished. We didn't have to take any of our big furniture. We literally only took like clothes, bathroom essentials, some dishes, um, and just like little things that we absolutely needed. Basically, we finally just kind of got settled in our apartment and we're getting back to like regular schedule programming for the most part. Um, it's just a lot. It really is a lot, you guys. We've been house hunting at the same time, like really taking tours and really diving into the house hunting thing because we just realized like we can't do this apartment life for too much longer. We can't do it. We have the Airbnb for a month. So it would be ideal to find a home within the next four or so weeks. But, you know, we also really don't want to rush the process either. So we're taking our time, but we got to get out of this apartment. But yeah, so like I said, we're basically kind of just getting back on regular schedule programming. Uh, we have a lot of errands to run today. As y'all know, I just got my nails done. We had to get up real early for that. Y'all know I like to be the first one in the door. Um, but now I'm here at Publix. We're going to stop and get some groceries. We've just been eating really horrible for the past few days. I ain't gonna lie, like moving, just stopping and grab whatever type of food. Um, and I just don't want to eat like that anymore. So I'm stopping at the grocery store. We're going to get some regular groceries for the apartment. We need to go to Target as well. We need to go to Sephora as well because I need to grab some things. And we also need to stop by the storage unit because we need to just get some like half of my shoes are still there like we just we just have to get some things um and then i don't know we'll see where the day takes us there's a lot going on today so yeah let me run in to Publix and get these groceries and then we'll catch up All 
part, y'all. I went to the grocery store. I had to come bring back the groceries because it was a lot of cold things. And then my boyfriend got in the car with me. We went to the storage unit, took out some things that we needed. And then we stopped by the mall because I told y'all I had to go to Sephora. I really had to go to Sephora and Mac. He just dropped me back off because he has to go run and do something. So I'm gonna have to go to Target in a few minutes. I just need a little woosah real quick, drink some water, and then I'm gonna go back out to Target. I'm gonna show y'all what we got. So, first I needed a refill Anastasia brow pencil. This is what I have been using for a good solid five, six years. I used to use the dip brow, but I changed to the pencil. I use the shade medium brown. Love this stuff. Um, and then I needed to re-up on my Hourglass concealer. If you know, you know, this is my main concealer that I use and I can never ever get my hands on the full size. They never have my shade in stock and I always end up having to get the mini. Why do I have the full size this time? I know that's fucking right. Okay, my favorite concealer, y'all know, I use the shade Fawn. Love that. Then you guys, something I wanted to try was this Summer Fridays what is it called lip butter balm super cute i got this vanilla i don't know let's see what it's given i don't know if like it smells like vanilla tastes like vanilla i don't really don't even know what this looks like but i just wanted to try these because i heard these were really good you can never have too many lip balms chapsticks i think it's just clear smells like vanilla doesn't taste like anything cute right yeah real cute this way hair oil i've been seeing this on an ad on tiktok and it's supposed to be like heat protectant okay a multitasking oil that smooths frizz and seals split ends for a high gloss super smooth finish um, packed with african galenga ama and asian y'all get the picture <laughs> Y'all get the picture. It's a lot of good stuff in here. It's a good, healthy hair oil. Um, it's a heat protectant, and I really want to try this because my hair tends to frizz when I straighten it. Because it's not really... It's trained, but it's not trained. I don't know. But I feel like this will be really good for me because y'all know we're going to Texas next week. I don't know if I told y'all about that, but we'll get to it. So I wanted to try this. And then you guys, they just gave me a free sample of the number three. Olaplex. So this is a free little sample. I had to go to Mac as well because I ran out of Fix Plus. Y'all know I use this. I'm just gonna stand by the Fix Plus. Like I just love it. Y'all know it's an OG. I love it. And then my lip pencil, my favorite lip liner of all time. Tried many brands, many shades. This is my favorite lip liner, the Mac. It's the shade Oak. This is my favorite lip liner of all time. It just does it for me. So I had to grab that as well. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm gonna see y'all in a few. We're gonna run to Target. My dog is yelling at me. I'm gonna take them out real quick and then we're gonna go to Target.
kind of how like, you know, when I got signed to QC, I feel like being a part of that success kind of helped me get to somewhere else. So I kind of just want to help people in their journey. It's literally like Nino says. That was kind of like my first like mainstream hit when I made it with my brother Nico. All right, you guys. As you guys can see, we went to A3C Festival today. Basically, they hold this festival every year. And it's really just an opportunity for people to come out and get some knowledge um, on the industry and things like that. So as you can see, my boyfriend spoke at that this morning. We went there. The home inspection was today, right after that at two o'clock. We've really been there all day. We got there at two. Um, we just left around five, grabbed our first meal of the day. And now I am headed to Fayetteville because this is where my mom lives. And since we've been in Airbnbs for two months, I've been sending my packages to my mom's house. So I have a plethora of packages to pick up from my mom. Um, so here I am after this long, busy day, driving all the way down to Fayetteville. It's about an hour from where we live. So that's what I'm doing, y'all. Tons of things going on. So, let me just catch y'all up because as you could probably tell from the beginning of this vlog, it's been hectic and it, it just hasn't stopped since. Um, for reference, everything in this vlog before right now is from before we went to Houston. I'm sure you guys saw the Houston vlog that I dropped before this video. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch that and then come back here. Basically, at the beginning of the vlog, I was telling you guys we were in this airbnb high rise one bedroom one bathroom it was absolutely insane we basically spent the entire month of september there while we looked for a house we've just been house hunting looking for our forever home and just kind of going through the motions it's been really hectic you guys I, like i don't know a better word than just hectic um so we spent the entire month of i'm like what What's going on um so basically we spent the entire month of september in this uncomfortable one bedroom one bathroom airbnb um we knew that we probably wouldn't secure a house in less than two months but we knew we had to get out of that airbnb because it just wasn't working you guys basically um a whole bunch of crazy mess happened and we just really had to get the out of there so we secured a second airbnb which is where we're at currently right now we paid for the month of october but two things one that's not gonna work out either because y'all why did we get there the gas don't work so meanwhile there's no hot water there's no gas stove there's no nothing the conditions are really not livable either for a lot of reasons i just can't even get into detail we'll be here all day so luckily luckily you guys we have found our dream home i i don't know we took the whole entire week this week and just went straight house hunting we probably looked at 10 20 different properties um went on the tours went on the viewings and the la the very last house that we saw you guys is it the very last house we saw they saved the best for last for sure because we have found our dream home you guys the perfect house as far as aesthetic, location, and price, and I just can't believe we found this house. It's really unbelievable. So, it's looking like we are closing, getting the title and the keys on the ninth. So we have nine days to thug it out in this Airbnb. I really don't know what we're gonna do, guys. It's, it's insane, but to be honest, the house is so worth the wait. The house is so worth all of this chaos. That's the good news, you guys. That's the update. We've been struggling for about a month and a half, looking for a home in between Airbnbs, being uncomfortable. Half of majority of our things are in storage. But you know what? Our prayers have been answered and we are also thankful. And I can't wait for you guys to see the new house. <laughs> it's really a dream. It's a dream come true. But yeah, so that's the update on that. Once we get good and settled in, I know I just haven't been vlogging. We've just been too much in limbo for me to even just vlog. Things have not been regular. It's just, yeah, y'all get the picture. So as soon as we get good and moved in, we'll be back to regular scheduled programming. The content is going to be a thousand times better because the house is beautiful. So beautiful. All that house decor, decorate my house with me, like a lot of different videos. Um, 
and things like that once we move in. So I'm really excited about that. But I just wanted to get on here and catch you guys up, give you guys the updates of what's going on with the house, the moves. We have found the place. All right, we have found the house. Um, I'm not really sure how the trajectory of this vlog is gonna go, because it's clearly it's all over the place. Um, but I know all new content in the house is gonna be after this vlog, so. We'll just, we'll see how it goes, you guys. Just want y'all to bear with me, because it has been crazy. Um, y'all know the holidays are coming up. If you have watched my vlogs for the past year and some change, you know that the holidays are my favorite time. Y'all know we love a good Halloween party. We love a good Friendsgiving. We love a good Christmas party. Y'all know we do it all at our house, and now it's just gonna be bigger and better. The content is gonna, y'all. It's, y'all, it's, y'all. I don't even know what to say. Wait till y'all see my kitchen. <laughs> Wait till y'all see my kitchen. Be for real. I'm really, I, the excitement, I, like I said, I feel like it hasn't really hit me yet because we don't have the keys, but y'all just wait. So yeah, update for you guys. I'm gonna grab these packages for my mom, drive an hour back to our house, and then um, Maybe we'll do a little unboxing, show you guys everything that I ordered. I mean, it's Amazon, Zara, ASOS. I have like business inventory, which I can't show y'all, but I'll show y'all my Amazon, my Zara. I bought just clothes, a whole bunch of stuff. I don't even remember what I got. These packages have been accumulating at her house for a good two weeks now. So um, when I get home, I'll show you guys what I got. And I think we're having a little fight party at our Airbnb. So I will catch up with you guys when we get back. Packages secured. As you can see, it done got dark on us. And I'm headed back down the road. Good 48 minutes of driving. So I stopped by Starbucks because I'm in the mood for something. A little something sweet. All right, y'all. Finally made it home. It's like 10.30. I'm exhausted. I'm whooped. I'm tired. I'm done. Um, came back from my mom's house. Ended up having to stop and help my boyfriend grab the last load of things from the first airbnb to bring here so needless to say we are officially done with that first airbnb this is our second one i'm not doing no tours because it's actually in shambles we have things literally everywhere so it is what it is let me show you guys my packages and then i'm gonna take a shower and go to bed we love a good zara i feel like this is just like some lounge loungewear but like chill clothes i have no type of setup going on clearly that's why that's also another reason why i haven't been vlogging on my tripods <laughs> ended up in storage so i don't have anything you guys all right let's see yeah this is like sweatsuits and stuff so i just got this black hoodie it's a plain black hoodie in a size small Material feels really nice and cozy. It's just a plain black hoodie. Y'all know you can never have too many sweatsuits in the fall, winter. Y'all know I'm a sweatsuit girly anyway, so we had to stock up on our sweatsuits. I got two bottoms just because you can mix and match. I have other things. So I got this wide leg, wide leg bottoms that you could obviously wear with that hoodie or or you could go, this is like regular classic sweat pant um, style. So black. And then I also got the wide leg pants in this cream color. So that was it from Zara. <laughs> we got ASOS. A lot of these things I kind of got to go interchangeably. So I got this cream color. Looks like they came from the same vendor. They have the same little tags on it, but size small. This little zip up jacket. This is from ASOS. I got it to go with these pants. 
Perfect match. Zara pants, ASOS, zip up jacket. Then we got a brown hoodie. Regular brown hoodie, size small. This could also go with the cream color pants. Then I got this bomber jacket. Cute little bomber. You know, you could never have enough little jackets for the fall winter. I love this color. It's like a khaki kind of color. It's pretty thick, actually. So this is going to be pretty warm. Little khaki jacket. I swore I had one more ASOS, but I guess not. This is something that I ordered that I was supposed to wear on the Houston trip. It didn't make it in time. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to wear this shirt, this shirt right now because it's very much, you're not even going to be able to understand what this is. Yeah, totally not. But it's this top, first of all, it doesn't even look like a small. It like, yeah, I'm just going to attach the product picture because you're not even going to get it from what I'm showing you. It's this little black top I plan to wear in Houston, but it didn't come in time. Now we got some Amazon. I don't even remember what I put from Amazon to be honest. Oh, this is a workout set that I ordered. This little brown, gray type of long pants in the bra. That goes with it. I have a brown jacket that I plan to wear with it. You know, my little workout jackets that I've been wearing. We got this pajama set also from Amazon. All my pajamas be from Amazon. When y'all see me in the morning with my pajamas on, pajamas from Amazon. Love them. So this is a long sleeve, long pair of pants. But the fall time is giving. This is my loungewear, walk around the house type of vibe. Super cute. Pockets. You get the picture. Then we have this, and I think this is cups. Y'all know I have my like to go cups that I put my smoothies and my coffee in if I'm leaving the house with it in the mornings or whatever. I think I just, yeah, that's what this is. my 24 ounce cups so this is more for smoothies when i make a big smoothie i use these cups okay that's it for the little package haul i'm exhausted i'm gonna take a shower go to bed and i'm gonna talk to y'all when i talk to y'all Let me know some, can I know some, can I hold some, can I roll some, and let's go.